Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to BeamNG Drive. Today, we're going to start off with a simple challenge. I want to see what basic BeamNG vehicle can make it through as many cinder block walls as possible. Think of it like a competition. Uh, basically, when they die, the game is indeed over. As you can see, granddaddy himself the gavril d not doing too well but still somehow holding out i don't even know how many cinder blocks he went through i probably should be counting that would be smart uh but he definitely didn't make it to the end and there we go it is pretty much done there all right well i don't know how many he went through but he is four from the current end so we'll see if anybody can beat that i feel like the gavril d is going to be pretty good a few might compete with it though all right let's try something with a bit lower profile i don't know if this will do better or worse hard to say i think it's gonna do worse anyways it's the etkk series uh, a little bit of cheating there hitting the next uh in line i did try and spread them out as far as i could that only made it through two so yeah i think the gavril d won just by a little bit all right i wonder if some american muscle will do it we got the bar stow out and uh it should be a lot heavier so it shouldn't slow down as much but it's gonna take a lot of damage right away Oh, man, I really thought I spread these out enough. Man, every car is only making it through two. I Maybe the Gavril D is going to be the winner here. I thought something would be able to compete. We haven't been using any of the big guys, though. Let's speed this up. It's still good. Hold on. This thing might just keep going. Uh, can I? Is, is reversing legal? I'm actually stuck in a cinder block, and I don't think I'm getting out of this pickle. It's frustrating, though. This thing's still totally fine. Well, that's arguable, but... Uh, yeah, I guess this is a DQ. Well, you know I had to do it. The pigeon is out. Is it gonna make one? I, I'd be surprised if it makes two, honestly. Come on, little guy, don't flip over. Oh God, oh God. Okay, hold on. Hold on, we are way off course. I can't steer. There we go, we hit two. <laughs> it's arguable that it made it through two. Hold on, come on. Get some grip on those back wheels. All right, it's not giving up. I'm reversing. <laughs> How many cinder blocks are on this thing? Oh my god, are you serious? I thought I could scrape over those. Well, I think that's it for the pigeon. I mean, it's still on, which bothers me, but uh, it is it is really stuck here. Okay, finally something that should be able to challenge the Gavril D. We got the van out, and this should have the weight to push right through. Yes, it's looking great. Maybe even better than the Gavril D right now. Let's speed it up. And, oh, it is still strong. I mean, it's definitely slowing down. We're getting white smoke. Uh, having some trouble steering. Oh, no, no. Come on. Come on. Hold on. We have movement. There it is. That was the cinder block that was wedging my wheel in. Okay. I don't know if that's cheating or not, but I am committed to beating the Gavril D. And this thing still has some speed behind it. Oh, man. <laughs> Those sounds are not good. Come on. Something is hitting again. I think that's it. I don't know, man. I don't even know if it won or not. Huh. It just popped that out and I have full control again. Yes, come on. You can do it. Okay, I think... I think this is it. Yeah, we're stuck once again. So there was only two left, though. Definitely the victor so far. All right, well, I don't know if this is considered off-roading, but we got the hopper out. I feel like if anything can beat it, this will likely be it. It might be a bit too light, though. These crashes are going to be hard on it, but we have the ground clearance to hopefully not get stuck on any of the cinder blocks, which has been most of the vehicle's issues. It's just getting stuck. The engines don't break. Uh... All right, hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just turn around. Oh, yeah, it is still good. We are still going. As long as that smoke doesn't turn black, I think we might be okay. I didn't realize this would be so fun. Come on, little guy. Get some grip. There's so many on the front. Oh, it's so hard to steer. It just wants to go all the way to the left. I'm spinning my wheels going straight. Is that technically going through it? Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's still going. I can't even see. There's so much smoke. Oh, come on. Keep it straight. There we go. We actually, we, we're, we're actually gaining speed somehow. Oh, yes. Wiggle them off. <laughs> come on. I've been trying so hard just to go forward. Oh, no. Uh, oh, it's dead. <laughs> 
it is totally dead. It did pretty good. It made it to uh, the final four. So essentially where the Gavril D left off. So tied for second place, not bad for the little hopper. And for the final contender, we have the Roamer. This I left for last intentionally because it probably should do pretty good. Oh, coming in sideways. Is that legal? I don't know. Uh-oh. I feel like that was a really bad first hit. We are... Oh, no. Did I break the drag shaft? I love how I left this for last. It didn't do much better than the freaking pigeon. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting any sort of drive gears. Frustrating because the engine's still working just fine. That first hit really did crush it. It really only made it through one, I guess technically two. So yeah, I guess uh, now we know the van is victorious. If you ever want to break cinder block walls down, uh, yeah, drive a van, I guess. All right, welcome to Cliffside Endurance. This is an off-roading test course and we got a brand new home-built buggy here, off-road version, of course. I thought we would try it out here it's more of a, a like rock crawling course i think but let's try it with some speed oh yeah i'm, I'm great so yeah i think the obstacles did just get progressively more and more difficult wow this buggy i've never been a huge fan of any buggies in this game if i'm honest this this one the suspension feels great on it oh wow this is really cool okay so we got a cave system here i don't know how fast i should be going oh even the sounds change. That's so cool. So yeah, I think I'm just going to take this nice and slow because I really have never done this course and I don't know what's going to come up here. Interesting obstacles, though. I think it's more of a race, actually. I thought it was mostly rock crawling, but it feels like this is more like a race course. So I am going to try and keep the speed up. Oh, 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 oh. That might have been a mistake. Look at the suspension. Most things would be destroyed by that. This thing still totally fine. All right, got some bigger rocks. Uh, slowly making our way up. This is a very long course, actually. Oh, wait, we're going back down? I think the goal is to get to the top. I guess this is a little bit of a detour. Oh, 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 almost at the wall. Okay, damn it. That's the only downside is it likes to spin around. This is honestly going too well. This thing is totally fine. Hitting some mud here. This thing feels indestructible. Like even hitting these hard, no damage to the suspension at all. All right, looks like we got a bridge coming up. That is that is a massive log bridge. I'm going to slow down for that. There we go. No problem at all. I think I chose the best vehicle first. I honestly thought this wouldn't make it, which is why I chose it. All right, we're going up real high now. A little bit of mud and sand doesn't hurt this thing. And I think that's the top. That is the only time in BMNG history where everything just went perfectly. Like, it doesn't even look like this thing got damaged at all. And I have not reset it at all either. Does it take damage? I, I want to know at this point. Because I feel like it's kind of like one of the automation mods where you can't actually damage it. Okay, it definitely takes damage. <laughs> it's just very, very strong. All right, I just wanted to compare it to an ordinary car. Let's see if the Piccolina can make it as well. We got the Baja edition, obviously. So it's actually pretty decent. And we'll see what this thing looks like by the end of this course. <laughs> I tapped it. I tapped it and a wheel falls off. Come on. All right. Well, I'm obviously not going to make it there like that. So little mistake on my part, but I hardly touched that rock. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on to it. Oh, okay. That's okay. That's tis but a scratch. We are fine. Let's just keep going. Oh, 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 I have broken my suspension again. I'm going to try and keep going with this. It's looking like it might be doable. Oh, I had to backtrace myself and I forgot that that resets your vehicle. It definitely was a lot more damage though. All right. So yeah, I think you guys get the idea. Apologies for that dumb mistake. I forgot it repairs it when you backtrace. I just went off course a little bit. Uh, but yeah, really awesome, like, off-roading course. Nothing like this that I can think of. Most are either rock crawling or speed. This is more like obstacle awareness than anything else. All right, it's been a while since we've done a scenario in this game. This one sounds pretty interesting because you can either play the cop or the robber and you can spawn your own roadblocks. And I believe the robber gets its own boost if you use its horn. So I guess I'm the robber right now. Uh, oh, wait, we can probably set it up. Yeah, so we can choose suspect. This is so cool. It's been so long since I played scenarios. I didn't realize they're so interesting now. Level is easy. Let's start with that. I want to be the suspect. And I just need to figure out what, what's my horn button. Okay, so I can use H. Let's try that. Uh, uh, why didn't I go right away? 
<laughs> Hold on, let's try again. <laughs> there we go. That's better. I couldn't get in the gear for some reason. All right. Oh, man. I didn't realize there'd be cops everywhere. Oh, I love police chases in this game. All right, let's take it slow. I don't want to screw up due to my own stupidity. Almost did. Almost did. All right, well, I know a roadblock's coming sooner or later. I am way ahead of the cops right now. Easy might be a little too easy. Is that a roadblock? Nope, that would be a bridge. Oh, God. Tight. Ah, okay, we're, I think, I think we're okay. Oh, there it is. So if I press H, I get a boost, and I also have slow motion, evidently. That felt so cool. Okay, do I press H again to stop it? No, it just keeps going. Oh, there we go. Oh, God, don't, you have to warn me, Jesus. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I don't like that I'm constantly steering left, especially when there's a cliff on the left side. Oh, here we go. Okay, full throttle and horn. Ah! <laughs> oh, man, I'm such a simple dude. I just love breaking through the blockades. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I don't think I'm going to make it out. Hold on. They're not here yet. Ah, Jesus Christ. I didn't even see that guy. Well, hold on. Yes, 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 yes. Turn it around. Oh, my God. I feel like I'm actually on a police chase. Okay. Oh, I can't turn. I can't turn at all. That was not me. My, my steering is pretty much gone. All right, hold on. Hold on. I think I got it now. The wheels seem to be working with me. I can't believe. Look at this thing. I can't believe I'm still driving this. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know if I'm going to survive this. Full throttle. Ah, please get out of the way. Oh, my God. I might actually make it. I can just keep these wheels somewhat straight. All right. We're just going to go for a nice Sunday drive to the end. It seems like all the cops have possibly crashed. I might actually get away here. Ah, uh, yes, the hideout. Come on, turn to the left, please. Please turn to the left. Hold on. Oh, oh God. I can't get in. There we go. Okay, I finally got some turning. See you later, suckers. Holy crap, that took three and a half minutes. But I did it. I thought I was done after like checkpoint six. Okay, I'm gonna try that scenario once more. There is three different scenarios in this, by the way, but I wanna try from the police perspective because we're supposed to be able to drop blockades. So I'm just gonna honk and see. Ah, what the hell, man? I was looking at my keyboard. So I thought it said I could drop them. Maybe I'm wrong on that because it didn't drop even at the checkpoint. I still wanna catch this guy anyways. Oh, H to call roadblock. There we go. Okay, so I saw at the top. So I guess I can call it at certain times. Uh, I guess when police reinforcements are around. So there should be one up ahead. Hopefully he hits that because he's actually pretty hard for easy. Oh, well, clearly that was it. <laughs> there we go. Roadblock activated. This is so cool. Last time I played scenarios, they were so basic. All right, well, there it is. Thanks, guys, for your service. Get the hell out of the way. Oh, yeah, there we go. Those roadblocks are helping. I see them now. I'm going to honk. Roadblock is activated up ahead a bit. Let's see if he hits it. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I can see it now. There he goes. There he freaking goes. Get him out of here, you criminal scum. Yes. What a takedown. Oh, I, I might be dead, but it was worth it. Hold on. I, I have to catch him. <laughs> I'm coming for you, you jerk. I don't think you're getting out of this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that felt good. All right, so there's three different routes. I'm going to go the suspect route again. Let's try hard just to see how truly hard this is. So same map, different course, though. We'll see if I can deal with hards. Okay, I have way less slowdowns. I see that. Is that the only change, or is there going to be a lot more cops? I feel like there's probably going to be a lot more cops. All right, here's my first roadblock. Slowdown activated. Oh, that was a bad hit. I should have went for the middle. That's okay. I should be able to get out of it. I'm actually gonna hit the brakes here to try and get away from them. All right, yeah, that one, first one really screwed me up. I have no front left wheel, essentially. I still can drive straight, though, quite fast. Ha! Ah, Jesus Christ! I was like, I'm slowed down. Oh my God, that gave me a heart attack. <laughs> oh my God, I did not expect that. I thought around the next corner there was a blockade, so I was slowing down. <laughs> Bad time to slow down. I don't even know if I'm going the right way anymore. I'm so... Damn it! I'm so confused. All right. Well, I think you get the idea. Very, very fun scenario if you like cops and robber chasing. Oh, man. All right. I wanted to test the buggy again. Its suspension was so good in our first test. Let's see if it could actually do a big jump. So we're at the high jump 
arena. Uh, we've done this a million times. It's actually a rather chill landing, so it should be okay. Assuming we can keep this thing on its wheels, though, of course. Oh, over rev risk. That's okay. We don't need an engine. We, we just need wheels to land. It actually isn't that fast. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. I shouldn't have hit the brakes there. All right, hold on. Hold on. Okay, yep, that, that is some broken suspension. So yeah, unfortunately this thing isn't built for speed, so I can't even really make it to the end of the ramp. It's so front heavy. I kept the gas on that whole time. Oh, I wonder if I can do a flip and land it. That was actually pretty smooth. All right, well, that's the off-road version. Off-road versions generally aren't made for speed. Let's see if we can get one that can actually clear the landing. All right, we got the race version. This obviously makes a lot more sense. The gearing is much better. Uh, we just don't have the ground clearance of the off-road. Still revving at the end. Oh, oh, flip it, flip it. Yes. Oh, oh, I almost got it. Oh, my God. I might actually be able to flip this one. <laughs> Look at the top cage. It just opened up. Oh, my God. Relax. There we go. Somehow that engine is still totally fine. I think this is the first vehicle I might actually be able to front flip. Like, look at this. Oh, man. If only it didn't... It leans to the, uh, to the right a bit. So I'm gonna have to turn in the air to try and counter that. All right, so we just tap the brakes at the end to give that forward rotation and then immediately gas it. Oh, I gas it too much again, though. I, I gotta be very careful with that gas. All right, trying more things. I've realized the double brake seems to be better than gassing it. So we just tap, let it go, brake again. It speeds up. Look at that! Oh, if only I could keep it straight on the landing. I have figured out the flip portion. Now I just gotta get that perfect landing. There it is. There it is. It was a little bumpy, but I will take it. Oh, that felt so good. <laughs> I don't normally do, like, trick jumps in this game, but I was committed to that one. I also recorded it, so let's watch it on replay. Mm. All right, man, that felt good. It took a while to figure out the trajectory of it, but uh, I figured two brakes in the air was, like, perfect with a little bit of gas at the end. So I brake at the start, as you can see. I brake right around here to speed up that rotation. And unfortunately, I still didn't land perfectly, but my goal was to just coast off, as you can see, landing a bit to the right. Overall, I would say that's a great landing, though. And uh, that felt so good. I kind of want to do more trick jumping now. That was really fun. And I love this buggy. This is definitely my favorite buggy in the game. Okay, and to end off with, there ain't nothing like a little bit of skee-ball. Why not skee-ball with giant vehicles? So I've never done this before. Thought I'd start with the Gavril D. And you know what? 10 points, that's not bad. Obviously, the goal is to get to some of the bigger ones, though. I think we're going to need something a little bit faster. All right, we got the new kid on the block, the Bruckle Bastion. Let's see if this thing can at least hit the 50, because if it can hit the 50, we should be able to do the big 100, and that's obviously the goal. Man, we're going to need something really fast, slightly better. I'm actually landing these quite well. I just need more speed. The fastest ETKK, definitely better grip. Does it have the speed though? It might. Definitely the best. Yeah, that was a perfect 40. Okay, Hirochi SBR 40. Probably one of my fastest cars. So if this doesn't make it, I don't know what will. Oh yeah, I think, you know what? I don't know if the timing is key, but this thing spins. I'm wondering if I got to hit it at the right time. I love that this thing gets totally destroyed as I'm going about this. Man, I don't know if I have anything fast enough, unless I do like a drag edition. Well, this might be the episode of the buggies. I forgot I had this one. Oh my God, this thing. Holy, listen to that engine. I think this is what we needed. Let's give it a try. This thing gets destroyed. Okay. Well, at least I know we have enough speed now. We're going to have to keep this thing slow. The hardest part about this is dealing with the bounciness of the runway. That is it. That, man, I'm... Oh! That was... I mean, it's kind of in there. Oh. Oh. Yes! I'll take it. I was hoping for a perfect swish, but uh, yeah, that's all we needed was... Uh, a super powered freaking buggy. All right, guys. And on that, we're going to wrap up another episode of BeamNG Drive here. I hope you guys enjoy checking out some more crazy mods and interesting crashes. As always, if you do want to download anything that you saw in this video, I'll have links in the description. And yeah, thanks so much for your continued support in this series, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.